Please, find the trouble. keep your voice down. I'm fine. Okay. We should go I'm back. And I hear some people okay, talking. Okay, okay. Come inside. Now. Sigrid will get you something to eat. Oh, these are the people. Fain that guy. thinks he can move Camilla oh, Hilarious away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. No. If the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. I don't, I don't know too much about that. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be joining the Imperial Legion. I got to make a decision, but I'm not ready for that right now. You really think I should join, though? Of course. I know today wasn't the best introduction to the Legion, mm -hmm. but I hope you'll give us another chance. The Legion could really use someone like you, especially now. Yeah. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Only one? Oh, that's disrespectful. You already made the wrong move right there. So what you trying to say? I'm not... I can't stop the dragons? But General Tullius has already ordered my execution. Why, why would I want to help him? I don't blame you for being angry about it. I would be too in your shoes. But it was all a mistake. You weren't supposed to be oh, on that call to the mistake, huh? traitors. Okay, okay. And the Imperial mistake. Legion needs your help. Especially now with that dragon out there somewhere. And they'll freak back <laughs> on the loose. <laughs> oh, now you need my... You know what? We'd Get better you. keep moving. Now you need like my help. the dragon might be up there watching us right now. Now you need my help when you're just about to execute me, right? A couple of minutes ago. All right. Let's see what Alvo is talking about. Sigrid, oh, they have company. Oh, shoot, who is this? Dorothy. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. But you seem all right. We've been so worried Graphics about you. look so good. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. All right. I'll just put this torch away because you already got a uh, fireplace. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? <laughs> I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tullius as God. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. Hmm. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You yeah, are no. drunk, are you, boy? <laughs> Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Or you're just the executor, some people. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. For what? Take gift. Okay. Let's see what what you got over here. I mean, nothing wrong with some meat. You got some meat on the side. Some potions. Okay. A ring that's worth a lot. Okay. Some food. Some chop. Iron. I take the ain't got too. Okay. Got some tunics. I don't need all that other stuff though. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. Mm -hmm. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. Whiterun, you say? If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okay, he's talking about Whiterun, okay. Uh, how do I get from to Whiterun, then? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to Whiterun, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach. The Jarl's Palace. Okay. What can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgraf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man. Perhaps a bit overcautious. But these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm hmm. afraid it can't last, though. Which side in the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Okay. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Well, we'll see about that. So do you support Empire? Of course. 
Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Hmm. Alright. So who is Elisif? Ah, yes. I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Okay. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Hmm. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked Ulfric. right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Ulfric. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. Okay. I mean, can I use the forge then? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. Okay. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Okay. What can you tell me about Riverwood? You know what? Just tell me about Riverwood. Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. Okay. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Hmm. Okay. All did right. Did really see a dragon? All right. What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Hush, child. Don't hmm. pester your cousin. Oh, that's a cousin. Oh, okay. All right, so I guess... Oh. I have too much stuff. Let's see what we can drop. Let's see what we can drop in here. Uh, I guess I'll drop a mace for now. Drop a mace for now. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? What can I do for you, friend? Listen, I'm going to lay up. All right. So what time is it? That's the first thing we need to find out. It's 1045. Okay, it's too late. So before we do anything, we're going to have to get some rest. So let's find that Riverwood Trader. Sven's Hilda's home, house. What's this, Alvor? What's she doing over hey. here? Oh, he about to go get some meat. That's what he doing over here. He's trying to sneak up late night. And probably go hit on some chick. Look at him already sitting down, all comfortable and stuff. Orgnar. Orgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Did you hear me? Yep. Ale's going bad. Oh, he's not even looking at her. <laughs> You're that visitor been poking around. Hello. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Did you hear any rumors lately? They say a dragon attacked Helgen. Sounds like hogwash to me. Oh, well, I know about that. Uh, I guess Give I'll take a room there. Sure thing. Right it's up. yours for a day. All right. Thank you. What's going on with this dude? We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Okay. Well, I'm looking for work. Do you got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Okay, locate the leader. Located at Falcon Keep. Did you hear any rumors? There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino. Been trying to contact. The Dark Brotherhood. Hmm. And Winhelm. Aventus Aretino. Have you heard any rumors? I guess I'll try again. Looking at the Riverwood Trader had his store broken into the other night. Oddly enough, barely anything's been stolen. Oh, okay. At the Riverwood mm -hmm. Trader, okay. I, I just we don't get there. a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. You got something to sell. Let's see what you got back there. Super goods you got. Stop hiding. What you doing, man? The war keeps most folks away these days. All right, then I go to sleep then. Don't worry about it. Nobody here. Take a little bit of meat. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna hurt nobody. Honor brew meat. Take my eyes to sleep. Give me a mug of ale. Coming right up. Who was that talking? Somebody over there? Oh shit! Who is this? Who are you? Mm -hmm. 
Damn, your eyes red as hell. <laughs> like you've been drinking all night. Need something? Alright. So let's go to sleep now. Let's get an eight. You know, good eight. Good eight. Good eight hours. And then... Wait, hold on. How much? Seven o'clock. You know, let's give it a little bit. Let's sleep for two more hours. You know, woke up. It was too early. Go back to sleep. <laughs> All right. So now... Are you behind your counter? Okay. You're that visitor been poking around. All right, man. You, you want to sell something? I mean, what's good? We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Okay. So what do you got? Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Let's see what you got. All you got is food. You got ale, bread. Oh, I like how they have different, like a sliced bread than a full bread. But this one should give more health than this one. That's just my opinion. Got some meat, some food, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good to know. So you got the food. Well, what is this? Alchemy lab. 